All right, so this is uh, my uh, Raspberry Pi laser security system. Uh, what's happening is we have a Raspberry Pi that is controlling some lasers. It's reading those lasers, uh, seeing if they're tripped, and then it does certain things like send me an email or uh, uh, send me a live stream of video. Uh, so let's run it. So I have a code that's uh, going to start up the web server and the uh, live video stream. So we're starting up the live video stream, setting up everything. Uh, it's checking my network to see if my phone is on, and it isn't, so it's arming the system. So it checked to see if I was home. Uh, I was. I'm technically not home because I have my Wi-Fi off on my phone, so it armed the system. Uh, it also checks what time of day it is, so if I'm home, but it's past 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, I get to choose. Uh, then it will arm it, so if I'm sleeping, even if I am on the Wi-Fi, it still arms it regardless. Uh, so we have a laser beam here across that doorway, and a camera up here that takes that picture, a laser here, and a camera up there that takes that picture, a laser here, and a camera that takes that picture. Uh, so what's happening here is uh, we have, uh, it's check the network, and it's uh, says false, 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 which means no one's on the home network. Uh, if I did have my Wi-Fi enabled, this would say true, and some other stuff would check the time, but it doesn't even check the time since we're technically both not here, or all three not here. Uh, those three falses stand for me and my other two roommates. I have their MAC addresses, and if uh, someone logs into our uh, network and has those MAC addresses, then it will uh, sense that they're home. Okay, let's, uh, let's test it here. So I'm gonna break this laser beam with my hand, and there's gonna be an LED on there showing that it has been interrupted. I uh, can't really do it, there we go. So my computer's uh, detected that, and it says, hey, I'm sending a message at this time, uh, and it ac accidentally bumped it twice, but it was already sending the, so what we have here is it's sending the message. Uh, the laser had been restored, then I accidentally tripped it when I was bringing my hand away, but the software said, hey, I'm already sending a message, and I will uh, free up the CPU that if I ignore this. Uh, so basically, this is the only one that actually did anything. This one I ignored, uh, checked the network in there sometime, and then it sent the message. And now it's waiting for another event on the laser. And so we'll hop back over here, go to my inbox, uh, go to the security system. Hey, I got an email, that's me tripping the laser. Uh, so if I click on this, it'll take me to the live stream of that window. Uh, it looks funky because it's infrared. So here I am, live feed right at the camera. Wave. Uh, yeah, so it uh, it looks funky because it is infrared. Or I took the filter off the webcam so I could view it infrared. Uh, then I'll uh, go to all the home page here, and this will have all three of my web cameras. There's two on the bottom that are uh, showing dual. Or I just have, a, have an extra one there to show it, uh, fill up the space basically, but there's room for a fourth, uh, fourth camera, so that's me, live stream. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the system, and it works for the other three lasers. Uh,